Hi, everybody. Welcome to Vanessa, My Life, My Journey. I'm getting ready to cook. Uh, it's been raining all day long, you guys. It's been like flooding. The water was almost up to the bottom of my door. I thought I was going to need a boat to get out of here. Hey there, Vanessa. I thought I was going to need a boat to get out of here, y'all. When it flooded for Harvey, it the rain looked it like that. We had about that much what? Water for Harvey. Hi, Shamita. Hi, Miss Kathy. How are you doing? How's everyone doing? I couldn't even go outside and throw my trash away, y'all. It's still raining outside, but it was pouring down, raining constantly. Which it wasn't giving the, the water. Shamita, did it flood over there where you at? Is it raining over there where you at? I call Shanette. She's in uh she's in Austin. She said it wasn't raining over there. Hi, Chastity. Hello, Michael. Hi, Mark. More something. I can't pronounce that. Hey, Miss Yolanda. Ooh, Ali Ali here. Where is Miss Gail? Jillian, hello. 
I haven't seen him in a minute. Jillian, how you been doing? Y'all, I'm here to cook. I don't know what I'm going to cook. Because I got some meat out. And I could cook several things. I might end up cooking more than one meal. So I can have something different to eat. Okay, um, y'all, tell me what is surf and turf? What is surf and turf? What is surf and turf? Going off tomorrow. Going off where tomorrow? Oh, you gave me a shout out? That's cool. Steak and lobster. Is it steak and lobster or just like steak and fish. I think steak and, I think it's, I think it's steak and fish, like any kind of fish. Let's see. I think it's steak and fish. Yes, yeah, steak and Miss Gloria say steak and seafood. So let me see. I'm gonna type in what is what is surfing to? So maybe I should go to Google. Okay, uh, surf and turf is a dish containing seafood and meat, typically shellfish and steak. And uh, another one says surf and turf is a main course combining seafood and red meat. Okay, y'all, so I got some salmon and some steak. So is that considered surf and turf? Thank y'all for uh, nine thumbs up. So I guess I'll do a surf and turf dinner. I got steak and salmon. Let me kill two birds with one stone. Ooh, these potatoes are too soft. That's what I was smelling. I was wondering. I kept smelling something. 
I didn't know what it was. It was the most stinky potatoes. I'm glad I found what that was because it sure was sticking. I got a very sensitive nose. I kept smelling something. But I didn't know. Where it was coming from. Okay, so let me decide. I'm going to cook the steak. And the fish. Salad. And I got these peas that I love. Is pork considered red meat? Y'all tell me if pork, I don't know y'all. Pork loin. Is pork considered red meat? Anybody know? Let me go to Google again. Yes, it's a red meat. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you, Vanessa. Let me see something, y'all.
forgot I don't have a battery in here. Hi everybody and welcome to Tasty Mukbang Eats, y'all. I am here today to cook a surf and turf meal. I have some steak, I have some um, salmon, and I have a pork loin. So let's go ahead and get started. I also have, this is a Trader Joe's meal because everything here came from Trader Joe's. So I have these shelled soy peas, peas that I love. And I do take a while to cook them. So the first thing I'm going to do is open it up and empty those in the pot. Thank you. 
I'm lifting the things off. I'm going to turn my fire on high. I'm going to add some black pepper. And some salt. I thought, I thought, oh yeah, I need to buy some sea salt. Pepper always makes me sneeze, you guys. I'm gonna take some butter. I like to smell everything, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. that image
Next, I'm going to be cooking. So you guys, I'm going to be doing a surfing turf meal. I have the pork loin and the uh, steaks over here. And I'm just going to season those. I did forget I was bring out the... I ran out of some other seasonings that I like. So... We're going to have to just use a mixture of everything. We just put in the basics. I'm going to take some black pepper. These holes look like they're not big enough. I want more. But I don't want to. And this is going to make me sneeze. Yes. That's the black pepper. I got some turmeric. I'm going to put That pepper, I be going. This is oregano. Mm -hmm. Gonna turn it over. I'm just gonna put the turmeric on one side. Garlic
this is onion powder. The other one was garlic powder. These seasons that may run. Let's turn this over. This is the sea salt. I'm going to take a little Worcestershire sauce for my steak. Little. It's more than a little, yeah. So you guys, I moved my pot to the back burner for the uh, for my pork loin. I'm gonna take some olive oil and put it inside my pan. I'm gonna let that get hot. And as soon as we put that in, it's going to pretty much see it. Let me go get my phones.
Hey, Terrence, what you doing? Uh, Terrence, everybody sneeze when they use pepper. That's not funny. Yes, Miss Gloria is in Houston, Terrence. You're supposed to know where everybody is by now. Yes, Terrence, it started raining. It's, it was flooding earlier today. Yep, it's a hot mess. Hey, Belle. Y'all, I'm recording from my YouTube channel, so I'm only going to talk to y'all once I turn the camera off in between shots. How you doing, Miss Gloria? Where's Elizabeth? You guys, I got my fire on six or seven. Let's put it on seven in the back. Let's take our pork lawn. I got my pork lawn here. As you can see, it's seasoned really well. We're going to take that. that in the pan. I want to put my lid on it. And we're going to sear all those juices in. I'm going to turn it back down to six. We're not interested in cooking it really fast. As you can see, we still uh, have our peas boiling right there. And we still have our fish and steak to cook. Terrence, what you been up to? She was here earlier in this live or the other one? I think she was in the other one. Y'all, let me go empty my trash while it's not raining anymore. Because those potatoes are kind of stinky. Hey, Miss Kitty. Hey, Mrs. Crystal. Tammy's not talking to me.
flood warning this area till 4.45 p.m. Central Daylight Saving Time. Avoid flooded areas. I'm wet, y'all. <sighs> I got wet. It's still raining. Now I'm going to try something I've never tried before. I'm going to fry my steak in some cooking oil with no flour or nothing on it. I don't know why Terrence don't talk to me when I'm in here. Hi, Liz Gail. Terrence, you don't be talking to me. I don't think you like me, Terrence. <laughs> <laughs> Terrence don't like me, y'all.
Y'all, Terrence being mean to me. Y'all see how he treat me? He don't talk to me. I got to smell everything, y'all. I don't have the seasonings with me that I want to put on my fish. I want to put some of that Creole seasoning on it and I'm out. Yeah, this is going to be a big meal. But I could use the meat on different days too. Tamara say you ain't gonna burn blame you for burning the house down. I ain't burning no house down. Terrence, I know how to cook. I ain't gonna burn no house down. Because you do what, Terrence? I am not going to burn the house down. Y'all, if you ever get the chicken broth and you open it up, you got to put it in the refrigerator or it's going to get me a dude. Let me see if I have some chicken broth there. So I just opened this vegetable broth. Oh, Terrence said he smelled everything. Yeah, you got, to, I mean, you got to smell it. <laughs> you got to stick your nose up in there. Let's see, I'm just going to put black pepper and salt on the fish since I don't have. The other seasonings that I want. Maybe I'll put a little of this Zatarain seasonings. Y'all see this big old thing of Zatarain's? This is four pounds of Zatarain's seasoning. And this cost it like three or four dollars or something like that. Very cheap. Mm. But it's so concentrated, y'all. It is so concentrated. 
we do not need a lot of this at all. This is 4.5 pounds. I forgot, I think it's like three or four dollars, something like that. I can't remember. You've been missing who, uh, Ms. Gail? Terrence? Terrence been MIA. He been doing his own thing. has been doing Terrence say no, he has not. I wish I've been in the books trying to prove something to these young kids. What you trying to prove to the young kids, Terrence? You need to prove something to us old folks. Thank y'all for 23 thumbs up. I got 16 people in the house. Really? Y'all, I am re-watching some of re-watching so I know what's going on. Girl, you know I've been looking for you, Liz Gail. She said, please put the at sign. That's I'm still the boss 20 years later 20 years later he still falls has anybody ever fried their beef in cooking oil without flour? we're gonna try it today y'all i'm just doing something y'all i'm just trying to make a quick an easy meal.
This is called cooking everything in the kitchen. Cooking everything in the refrigerator at one time. Cooking everything but the kitchen sink. In the meantime, I'm gonna fix my bag of bread. I'm gonna do it different than I did it yesterday. I'm gonna actually do it in the oven. I'm gonna cut it. Two slices, you can put it in. This would also be good with some spaghetti. So we're going to take some butter and we're going to put the butter, but oh, that's not going to be on one y'all, that's probably going to go for all of it. We're going to take some butter and put it on the side and put that side down. Butter both sides if you want to. I usually just butter one side.
when we get ready to turn the other side over, it's probably going to have some oil on the pan already. We're going to check in on our sirloin. And you guys, we are frying our steak in some cooking oil with no flour on it. I've never done that before. But I'm just deciding to do it today. So. So that is going to be that. We're going to take that and put that in the oven. So now you guys, we have our cooking oil that has been getting hot. We're going to take our steaks. We're going to take our steaks and just put them in the cooking oil and see how this goes. No flour. And now we can check on our popcorn. actually raise that fire back up from the pork on to about a seven. We might even put some more. Vegetable broth in there.
That turmeric stained my cutting board. No, we got a yellow stain on it. Oh no. So y'all, the last thing I got to cook is the fish. It's not gonna take long. Do I have some napkins somewhere?
Oh, Lord. I need a fork to put in this meat because I keep wrapping it back. So I'm going to let that sit and cool. Where do I want to put this? I need to clean this stove off. Okay, guys, I just took the beef out of the cooking oil and I'm just letting it sit. I guess this is going to, we'll see if it's well done or medium well done. We will cut into it. However, it is, we won't eat it. Okay, guys, this is pork rind. That looks good. So, what we're going to do is move this to another burner, and we're going to cook our fish, which is the last thing we have to cook. The fire is already hot. Where is our skillet? Yeah, I've got a skillet over here waiting in the wings. We're just going to take some olive oil and we got that on a number seven. So we're going to let that get hot. Thank you. 
So you guys, while we are doing this, we are going to get our salad together. And we might need to do our salad in another container in a separate dish. Let me see. leafy green butter squash salad kit from Trader Joe's. Okay, let's go skip over to our fish and put that in the pan. don't want our grease to get too hot. So we're just going to take our salmon. We have three pieces of salmon. We're going to cook that on the skin. While the salad is preparing, we are going to and we have salmon this time. We're going to put salad together. Everything comes in the bag. Okay, let's Wow, I could eat all the salad at one time. Everything comes in the bag, you guys. That's it. And 
Voila, the sound is served. This can be a side or a complete meal. You can also add meat of fish to this if you decide to have a meal within itself.
kind of cooked. Different than it normally does. Okay, you guys, let's go to the table and set everything up. Y'all see that? We're going to put... I overcooked my bread. That would make a good ASMR crunchy sound video. I'm just going to drink my distilled water today, y'all. Yeah.
Let me bring y'all. Is that Chanette? And the I Love Lisa Michelle show. I ain't seen the I Love Lisa Michelle show on this channel. Ever. So y'all get to see the behind the scenes on my meal that I'm about to eat. What is going on with this thing saying? DC, AC power, okay. Can y'all see that?
that's not how I want it. Okay, yeah. Let's let me see how this is looking. Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Tasty Mukbang, Tasty Mukbang, Tasty Mukbang Eats, y'all. Tasty here to do her thing. Today I am here with a delicious surf and turf. I have some steak, I have a pork loin, I have some soy peas, I have some baguette bread that kind of over toasted, but it's still really good and crunchy. And I got some salmon. And over here, you guys can't see because I got so much food. I got a butter squash salad from Trader Joe's. Everything that you see here came from Trader Joe's today, you guys. This is not a sponsored video, as you guys know. I just eat a lot of food from Trader Joe's. So, and we got our water on deck. I got some of my distilled water. That's what we're going to be drinking today. Y'all know I be doing the 30 gallons of water challenge to 30 day gallon of water challenge to drink 30, to drink a gallon of water a day for uh, 30 days or as much as you can. And you guys, if you don't know, I have a lot of challenges in my description box below. Go down to some of my older videos. I have the seven day salad challenge. Uh, I do see a lot of people copycatting my challenges and making them five days. They can't be creative enough to come up with their own challenges. They have to take my challenges and just take it down from seven days to five days. So there are a lot of copycat challenges out there, you guys. There's a copycat 30-day gallon of water challenge. Uh, there is a copycat five-day salad challenge. So there are a lot of, lot of copycat challenges. People can't be creative, y'all. Oh, my goodness. But that's all right because that just means that just mean that secretly <laughs> they be watching. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for every view, even if it's a hater. <coughs> so, y'all, <laughs> I'm just laughing. It's so funny to me when people are copycats. Like, it's just so funny to me. So, uh, did I say my grace, y'all? I can't remember. Let's bless this food. Father God, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. We thank you for your love, your kindness, your mercy, and your grace, your generosity, and all the provisions that you have made on our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anyway, y'all, these are soy peas. I cook them with a little salt and pepper and butter. Mmm. And they're so good. And you guys, if you're not subscribed to my other channel, Vanessa, my life, my dream, 
that's what I will be doing my van life videos. And I also do behind the scenes. So if you want to see how I cook this video, uh, actually, I cook this video live, cook this food live. I also got a cooking video coming out on it on Tasty Mukbang Eats. But if you guys want to see the behind the scenes for Tasty Mukbang Eats, y'all, y'all got to do is subscribe to my other channel because that's why I'll be doing the behind the scenes. So that is the beef. This is the pork lawn. And this is the fish. It's sad, you guys, when people can't give you credit for a challenge, but they take the challenge and try to steal it. Life is very sad and very disrespectful. But hey, I get it. You ain't over there doing your own thing like Tasty Mukbang, so you got to do what Tasty do. <laughs> No creativity. And not even. Not even. Honesty or integrity. I don't get it, but hey. That is really not going to be the topic of my conversation today, y'all. I don't even know how I got on it. I guess because I was mentioning that I got a gallon of water challenge for 30-day challenge, which I've seen someone pretty much copycat that challenge. I've seen someone else copycat multiple of my challenges recently and take them from five days, from seven days to five days. Same, same challenge. The salad challenge. Seven days of salad. They took it just from seven days of salad to five days of salad. Just disrespectful. Just downright disrespectful, y'all. No respect, like right in a dangerous thing. Can I get some respect? Can you be creative enough to do your own thing like Tasty Mukbang? But that's all right, y'all. I'm going to tell you that why it's all right. Because Tasty Mukbang Eats is an inventor. I'm very innovative. People always see things I do, think it's a great idea, don't give me credit for it. It's okay. Then let me know you're watching me. Like everybody got red bell peppers on their plate. Mmm. I don't need to bite on that side no more because these kind of hard and I said teeth I've been having some problems with. Mmm. Everybody and their mama eating red bell peppers on their plate now. But ain't nobody. And some people act like they so nice, y'all. They give credit to who they want to give credit to. They give credit to who they want to give credit to. But they know that you created something. And maybe because they don't like you, I don't know. They give credit to everybody else for their challenges or their meals or their creativity. 
but they can't give credit to some people. And they know where it originated from, y'all. Believe me, they know. Because they watching. Listen to what people say, not what they do. Or listen to what they do. See what they do, not what they say. It just amazes me the level of disrespect, but it's okay. Because you don't have to like me to be a good person. If you don't want to give me my props, don't be a copycat. Like, don't be a copycat. I don't have to copy off of people, you guys. And if I do something... that I was inspired to do from somebody else, I'm definitely going to get them their recognition. But The disrespect is real, and it's okay. We live in a society where people believe the hype, and when you have a bigger YouTuber, And people are doing things that a bigger YouTuber did. Then all that bigger YouTuber fans, you're copying this person. You're copying this person. And what they don't realize is almost all the bigger YouTubers Almost all of them in every genre, not just mukbangs. They follow and watch smaller YouTubers that are very creative and are not getting the views. And they copy things that that smaller creative did. Don't get them credit for it. Don't mention them. And because they're a bigger YouTuber, everybody thinks they came up with that idea. I think it's so wrong and disrespectful. And then when you perpetrate the fraud as though you care about people you promote smaller YouTubers and you give people shout outs for their ideas. Don't do that. That makes you a lie before God because God is of no respect to person. And if you give credit to some people, You should get credit to everybody. Otherwise, just don't do that person's challenge. Don't steal their idea. If you're not going to give them credit for it and you're going to give some people credit, just don't do it. 
Just pass on that one. You're not going to give the person credit, so pass on it. Because that's actually wicked. That's okay, y'all. When y'all find that people are walking on you, even if they surpass you, but they have to walk on you to get to where they're going. Just remember... The same people you see going up, you usually see going down. If you are rating your success based on a dollar amount or fame or fortune, you have already made a big mistake. By the way, the child, I seen this video yesterday of Kanye West. He has church services now in different cities. Um, so many people are attending the church services. And this one channel that I watch, she does an excellent job on Hot Topics, and it's Impressive Channel. And she did a piece on Kanye West about the church services. And she think it could be dangerous but at the same time, she thinks it's a uh, that he's doing a good job and a good deed. But the reason why it could get dangerous is because people like to follow people. People like to take the emphasis off of God and put the emphasis on man. And even though they may have gotten to God through the man, through his testimony, through his light, they often confuse that with the fact that Jesus is the Savior. And so she also talked about how or show clips of Kanye West. At one time when he was elevating himself up to be God, he was calling himself Jesus. And then she also played a clip of when he said that he, he said with his own words that he had sold his soul to the devil. And so now he's saying, it appears 
now that he has done 360 and now he's giving honor and praise to God. But at the same time, because he's a man with status and power, people are flocking to these church services in groves, which is a good thing in the sense that he was of the world and now he's saying he's of God and he's using his previous worldly status to draw me into God. But at the same time, because those people are still carnal minded, they, are, they still have their eyes fixated on the man and not God. They are not initially coming to the church services to seek God. They are coming there for the man. They have their phones out. They recording it. They posting it to their Instagram. And she was just saying, that is dangerous, that even though it's a good thing that he's doing and he's taking his celebrity status and trying to turn people toward God, but at the same time, it could be dangerous because like she was saying, he could decide to start a cult tomorrow and there would be millions and millions of people that would be in Especially when people were of the world to begin with and they weren't there for Jesus. And they're just willing to follow this man no matter what he do or say. It is so easy for that person to become an idol in the eyes of man. So I want y'all to I do applaud, because as we all know, which Kanye West himself said, he has been struggling with um, depression and bipolar disorder. Also grief when he lost his mother. So, y'all, the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And we need to be careful. And when we see situations we need to uplift those people in prayer because Kanye West has a soul. And when God looks at the heart of man and he looks at the soul, he do not see the fame. He do not see the fortune. He do not see how much money they have. He do not see their popularity. do not see their beauty. God doesn't look upon the things that man looks on. That's why we're often deceived. That's why we're often deceived because we look at the things, we look at things different than how God would look at them. And if we are spiritually minded, and if we are of Christ, we should be seeing things the way Christ see it and not the way the world see it. Because the Bible said, be of the world, but not in the world. 
So, uh, before I end this meal, I'm going to pray for Kanye West and the people that are hopefully being led to Christ through the introduction from the introduction of Kanye West. Y'all, the salad is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I've had a lot of salads from Trader Joe's before. I never had this one. Rosemary butternut squash. It's good. Y'all, if we are not about our father's business, then we ain't got no business. You think you're doing something? You're not really doing nothing at all if you ain't about your father's business. Because God says only those things that you do for Christ will last. So everything else that you're doing is, is pointless. It's meaningless. It's without purpose. It's without edification. And do you really have the, the blessing from God to be doing what you're doing if You're not doing it for him. If you're not doing it to bring him glory, if you're not doing it to bring him praise, if you're not doing it to bring him honor, if you are mingling and mixing with the world, if you are promoting the things of the world, do you really have the permission from God to do that? No. God is not honoring that. God is not in that. The Bible says that a house that's divided cannot stand. So, is, is God giving you permission to dabble and mingle with the world, to fellowship with the world, to promote the things of the world? No, he's not doing that. The devil comes in like a flood. Remember when we read and we studied when the devil, when Jesus was casting out the demons, and he asked the demons, what were they named? And they say, my name is Legion because I am many. The devil comes in. Now we're one. Now we're two. Now we're three. He comes in as many. They travel in packs. And they are called Legion because they are many. And a lot of times we think we just fight in one stronghold, one generational curse, one demonic force, but we're actually fighting many because we've allowed and welcomed one in. Remember what I said when we were studying that? If you let one devil in, he got friends. The devil got friends. You didn't just let in. Why do you think 
when people get strung out on drugs, they let that one devil in, the one demon in, a demon of addiction. And then next thing you know, they prostituting. Because the demon of addiction got friends. His friend is gambling, alcoholism, prostitution, homosexuality, adultery, fornication, He got friends. Just like you got friends, the devil got friends. If you let one demon in, that one demon got many friends. And if you don't believe me, If you don't believe me, get in the word. Because the devil told you himself, my name is Legion. We are many. He didn't say I am many. He said we. It's we. We are many. Number one, the devil told you what his name was. He told you his name is Legion. He told you why his name was Legion. His name was Legion because they are many. And when you open yourself up to the devil, when you open yourself up to one demon, to one spirit, You have opened yourself up to many demonic spirits and forces. And because you didn't have the spirit of discernment from the beginning and you let those spirits in, now, what do you have to, what, by what authority do you have to evict those demonic spirits? By what authority do you have to fight them and resist them? Because if you were following after Christ from the beginning and you had the anointing of Christ on your life and you were operating in the fruits of the spirit, you would have recognized the devil when he first came in. You would have recognized the devil when he was first knocking at the door. Our job as Christians is not to affiliate and play with the devil and entertain the devil and then try to rebuke the devil. Mm -mm. That's not our job. Our job is to cast out devils, cast out demons, speak the truth, live the truth, walk in truth, walk in light. Some people trying to be friends with the devil, thinking that they could change the devil. The devil is like a zebra. He got stripes that can never be changed. You're not going to change the devil by sitting, 
socializing, talking to the devil, playing with the devil, eating with the devil, fellowshipping with the devil, talking on the phone with the devil. You ain't going to, you making the devil welcome. You're making the devil comfortable. You're giving the devil a footstool. A point of entry to come into your home, to come into your life, to come into your family. Because instead of recognizing for who he, he recognizing him for who he was and rebuking him. And resisting him from the beginning, you didn't do that. You sitting there playing. Have the cake, have the cake, baker's men, roll them in, roll them in. You sitting up there playing games with them. The Bible says, My sheep will know my voice, and no other will he follow. You will not listen to the devil showing you who he is. The devil showing you who he is. He's showing you and telling you that he is a legion and you're overlooking it. You're overlooking it. You're, you're disregarding the words that are coming out of the devil's mouth because you want some friends. Because you want to fit in. That's not what God said, do. He said, be of the world, but not in the world. If you ain't doing it for Christ, you ain't you doing it for nothing. And if you're doing it for Christ, then the only business you have with the devil is to rebuke the devil. That's the only, you don't need to sit down and eat and lollygag and talk and play with the devil. The only business you have with the devil is to cast out the devil. That's it. That's it and that's all. Cast him out. Speak the truth. If you have people that you know or that you come in contact with. And those people are not living according to the word of God. The only business you have with them. Is to tell them what thus said the Lord. That's it. You don't need to be talking about popcorn. Chicken. The movies. Mm-mm. You need to be talking about Jesus, surrender, salvation, forgiveness. And then you also got to realize when you see the works of the devil in people's lives, when they are totally outright sinning against God, knowingly and don't care. And they are using their sin to attract more people to that sin. You better be very careful because those people could be turned over to a reprobate mind, which means that God have walked away from them and the presence of God is no longer with them. And so they are totally 100% sold out to Satan. And you sitting over there fellowshipping with the devil that is wholeheartedly sold out to Satan. My, my, my. Couples, Lord. 
Help us, Jesus. I can't do it, y'all. I tell y'all all the time, I don't talk to the devil. I don't let him in my house. I'm not letting him in my presence. I'm not affiliating with him. I'm not socializing with him. And I'm not going to even have contact with him through somebody else. I'm not doing it. Because while you rubbing shoulders with the devil, spirits jump. You over there rolling, rubbing shoulders with the devil. And then when I come around you, they trying to jump on me. No, thank you. <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it, and I ain't gonna do it. Y'all, this food was delicious. This salad is good. Everything good. Let's pray, y'all. We're going to pray for discernment. We're going to pray for wisdom. We're going to pray for Kanye West. We're going to pray for the millions and millions of people that are attending his Sunday services. We're going to pray that they find Jesus there when they get there. They, they come in for the man. They're attracted to the man. But when they get there, let's pray that they find the Holy Spirit there. Father God, as we come to you right now, dear Lord, we thank you for this food that you have prepared for us today. You said, precious Heavenly Father, that you will prepare a table, a feast in front of our enemies. Dear Lord, we come against every person, place, spirit, and force that is trying to attack us, that's trying to speak against us, that is trying to stop our blessings. Father God, every single person that have stole from us, that tried to steal our creativity, we ask you, precious Heavenly Father, to judge the heart of the wicked, dear Lord. They know what they are doing. And we ask you to judge them, Lord, for what profited a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul. Father God, we ask you to look down upon Kanye West right now, dear Lord. Touch him with your full anointing, Lord Jesus. Forgive him for every sin, Father God. He said that he had sold his soul to Satan, Lord Jesus. Now, he said that he is repenting and that he is following after you, dear Lord. We know, precious Heavenly Father, that he has suffered from depression and mental illness in the past, Lord Jesus. We ask you, Father God, to touch his mind, to renew his mind, to renew his strength, Lord Jesus. And he said that you have done that already, Lord. But we can always use a double dose and a double portion of your anointing upon our lives, Father God. He is motherless, Lord Jesus, but he is not motherless, Father God, because he has you. We ask you to comfort his heart in every shape, form, or fashion. We ask you, precious Heavenly Father, to heal him to restore him, to give him peace, to give him wisdom, and to let his new found faith in you and trust in you be everlasting and not temporary, Father God. Father God, we come against each and every attack from Satan that would try to attack the works that he is now doing for you, Father God. 
even if his in initial attention was for more popularity and more fame, Lord Jesus, we ask you right now to take your presence and fill his cup till it overflows with your spirit, dear Lord. Let him profess every single day of his life that you are Lord, that you are God. Let his faithfulness towards you change the lives of his family, his children, his friends, and impact many, Lord Jesus, all the souls that Satan wanted to claim through his music when he was in the world, Lord Jesus. Let him claim each and every one of those souls and more for you. We know that you could do this and more. You say it. Each and every time a soul is saved, the heavens rejoice. We hear your rejoicing right now, Lord, for all the millions of souls that are going to be saved. We ask you, Father God, to help us all seek your faith, seek your faith, Seek your truth and be about our Father's business. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for everything that you have done for us and everyone who will watch this video and is under the sound of my voice right now, dear Lord. I ask you to give them wisdom, to give them understanding, to give them power to give them, to make your purpose and your plan plain to them where they just won't be flying in the wind hopelessly, but they will know their purpose and they will know their plan. We thank you, Father God, for everything that you have done and all those things that you will do and we entrust our lives, our souls, and our faith to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Don't ask me why this meal turned out like this. God is in control. I thank you guys for tuning in today and joining me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave lots of comments in the comment bar below. Don't forget to press the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and be sure to come back for another video so you can see more of Tasty Mugabang Eats, y'all. I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Mm -hmm. you guys y'all this food was so good and it's enough for y'all to eat it's enough for y'all to eat y'all y'all hungry let me see what y'all see let me get my chair and come over by I need to run my distiller, y'all. I've been lazy the last few days. I've been at home. I'm going to run my distiller. Uh, let me see what y'all are saying. Miss Kathy says, amen. Miss Gloria say yes. Lisa Michelle, we have work to do. Uh, Miss Connie say that's scripture.
Um, yeah, I hear you, Lisa Michelle. We all have fallen short of the glory of God, but only through the blood of Jesus can we be resurrected from the dead. We are to die to our sins and follow after Christ. Um, The d- Jesus rebuked the devil. He rebuked and cast out demons. And I'm not here to argue or disagree the word, uh, Lisa Michelle. If you found offense in anything that I said, then I, if you have a different understanding of the word, then that is your interpretation of it. Uh, I suggest you get in the word. Study the word, learn the word, and hide the word in your heart, and you are responsible for your interpretation of the word. The Bible say we all have to work out our own soul salvation. I am not here to condemn anyone. I am simply speaking the truth of the word of God that he has shown to me. So if you have found any offense in anything that I've said, There will not be any apologies for that. And I'm not here to debate that. I was speaking what God was allowing me to say. And that's it. And that's all. (laughs) Hi, Gwen. We still have 12 people in the house. Can we please get a roll check? Y'all know I like to do a roll check to see who is here. Y'all say presence or here. Hi, Miss Gloria. Miss Vanessa still here. Elizabeth Gale still here. Miss Kathy still here. Where's Terrence? Terrence always running, y'all. Y'all, did y'all enjoy the dinner? The child enjoy the food. I got breadcrumbs all over my face, y'all. I got breadcrumbs all over my face. Shanette, you still here? Miss Gloria say, here's here. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Miss Gloria. Did y'all ever get any flooding over there? The water done went down over here. The water went down over here. And uh, thank God for that because that water was almost about to go up in my car, y'all. That water was like maybe a couple of inches from probably going in my car. And it did go in somebody's car. Elizabeth Gale, did you get full? Do you see something on that plate you want, Elis Gale? Y'all, I still got a lot. I'm going to eat this food later. Y'all going to see me. Y'all going to see me do a mukbang later somewhere. I don't know where. Y'all know me. I cover my food up. I cover my food up. And... I am going to eat it later. So that food right there, I'm going to cover it up. And then later on when I get hungry, y'all, I already got something fixed. You didn't eat yet. Well, why you wasn't eating, Elizabeth Gale? <laughs> Girl, that bread was overcooked, but it was so good. It was so good. You didn't eat, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you're supposed to get your food first. Because you know you're greedy. Mm. That's the beef. The soy peas was really good. That's the pork. And the fish was really good, too, y'all.
And their salad was the bomb.com. Oh yeah, Miss uh, Gloria, that salad was good. You made some nachos. What kind of nachos? Chicken, turkey, beef, or what? Y'all know after I finish eating, then I go up in the kitchen and I got to clean the kitchen up. And I'm gonna have to uh, my di water distiller behind y'all. I'm gonna need to distill some water. Let's go back in the kitchen, y'all. And another thing, you guys, just because we have all fallen short of the glory of God don't mean that we should stay, that we should stay there. That's the purpose of the blood of Jesus. So we won't have to stay in sin. And so we wouldn't have to stay falling. That's the purpose of Jesus. That we would not fall. That we wouldn't, because we did fall. That we would not stay falling. And that we could rise to the occasion we could rise from the depth of our sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. And God said, and Jesus said to go and to sin no more. To rebuke sin. We are sinners born to sin, but we are also saints. That died to sin through the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you are not dying to sin daily, then that means you are still actively sinning. And if you are actively sinning, then you cannot consider yourself a saint. And that's what the word is. I am not going to fellowship with the works of darkness. I'm not going to participate in the deeds of darkness. And I'm yielding my members to the cause of Christ. Now, as I stated before, Every person is responsible for their own soul salvation. So how you choose to live your life, how you choose to walk is up to you because you will be held accountable for that. So I am not here to condemn and Jesus said he didn't come to condemn. He came to save. He came to save and set free. But with that freedom comes power to overcome sin. God didn't die on the cross for our sins for us to continue in sin. He didn't do that. So, you guys, uh, Miss Connie say she make Miss Connie. I wanted some spaghetti, and like I say, I think I'm. A, I told y'all I was gonna cook 
more than one thing today. I got some meat out. If it ain't spoiled, I might make a little bit of spaghetti so I could do a video. But I really, I need some red bell peppers, y'all. I don't have no red bell peppers. Liz Gale say, Miss Vanessa, I am not greedy. I am just the baby in the family, like you say. You know it's true, Miss Vanessa. Babies gotta eat. <laughs> Miss Gale, <laughs> you something else. Babies gotta eat first. <laughs> Feed the baby. Feed the baby first. Feed the greedy baby first. <laughs> Alyssa Gale, it got some greedy babies. You a greedy baby. <laughs> you always talking about where the food at. What we eating? What we eating? What tasty cooking? What we eating? Y'all, where did my sister Shanette go? Where did Shanette go? Thirty two thumbs up. It was thirty two people in here, y'all. For real. Oh, my goodness. Where did I miss? I got to scroll back up in them comments and see what y'all was talking about while I was eating. She said she had to go. Where she went? Hey, Kitty. You just getting here, Miss Kitty, or you been here? Terrence done left. Shanette done left. Who else got up out of here? MH left. Let me scroll up and see what I could see what y'all was talking about. Yeah, Terrence is in the house, y'all. He was earlier. Who's sick of the old lady gang? What Lisa Michelle talking about? Speak to her. I ain't threw you under no bus, girl. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. That's not shade. <laughs> you can't say when something is the truth, it's shade. <laughs> oh, she talking about I ain't seen the I Love Lisa Michelle show on this channel in a long time. I never, I don't never remember seeing you over here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, oh Lord, I can't help it. It's the truth. I know she sure will call you out. No shame in her game. She got me too. Yep, Terrence. Terrence been gone for a little minute. I only said that because I miss you, Terrence. Where you been? Every, I get tired of people asking me where I, where you at. It's like I'm your brother. I'm my brother's keeper. I don't know where that dude at. He ain't told me nothing. Uh, Elizabeth Gale said, and I said, I bet you got everything in there but the kitchen sink and say why yes i do have the kitchen sink in there and pulled out an adorable itty bitty sink
Um, you say you love me, though. Doe. Shanae say you been missing in action, Lisa Michelle. I know you've been working hard on your job, but still. <laughs> this girl, why you keep taking her comments out? Lisa girl, let people talk. I still don't be understanding why Elizabeth Gill deletes some comments. What is a uh the Alan Lisa Michelle say stop it tasty? What did I do? Yep, MH was out of here too. She come in every now and then. Oh, uh, oh, Shanice say not the red bell pepper. <laughs> Lisa Michelle say, trust me, sis, I completely understand. I fig uh Elizabeth say, I figured y'all could use a chuckle or a few. Lisa Michelle say, LOL, Shanette. And Lisa Michelle say, tasty call gene is over here. Minicking your laugh. I told him that I was going to tell you. Girl, everybody be trying to get my laugh. I don't know if people got it right, Elizabeth Gale. Why you keep deleting this woman comments? Tater tots and munchy buddies. Nobody can mimic your unique personality, sister. Shanette uh, say, that's right, Lisa Michelle. Yeah, but they so be stealing my challenges. Elizabeth Gale say, who, me? What is she talking about? Your blessings will still come. Um... They'll say so true. Lisa Michelle say not me. I'm giving credit to the person I saw eat them first. You chickadee. And Gwen say good morning, good evening. How is everyone doing, y'all? I'm going back and reading the comments. I got to do that because while I was eating, I couldn't see. It may say it's really easy to give credit for every where credit is due. I am not sure why. They don't. Elizabeth Gill, please stop deleting comments. Elizabeth Gill deleted another comment. Ah, Elizabeth Gill. I don't see nothing wrong with the comments. Um... Miss Gwen say that is a great MH Munch down. I'm going back, y'all. I'm catching up. Take me a minute. I don't know what y'all saying now. Liz Gill say Miss Vanessa is cooking her and us a delicious meal. Liz Gill say can't wait. You're welcome. Miss Gwen say, Miss Vanessa is a one of a kind. She is unique and talented lady. Thank you, Miss Gwen. 
Thank you. And as the girl say, we having fish. Yes, she is. Liz Gale was behind. Liz Gale say thank you for the kind words. Uh, ASM, uh, Shanette ASMR say amen. Sis, Elisa Michelle say that's true, Gwen. And Liz Gale say I love Miss Vanessa and everyone. We know already Liz Gale love everybody. <laughs> Miss Gwen says she always has something uplifting to say. I listen to her because she is speaking from the heart. Oh, Miss Gwen, you are so sweet. Shanette say, have to go, but everyone enjoy the rest of your day. Elizabeth Gail say, okay, Shanette, love you. Uh, Lisa Michelle say you are right tasty Elizabeth Gale say oh boy that dinner is gonna be so good Elizabeth Gale, I'm eating at this point and Elizabeth Gale she still must be watching the replay but she say she was gonna watch the replay Elizabeth Gale say who all staying for dinner Lisa Michelle say, oh my, the green salad looks amazing. Ooh, that salad was good. Lisa Gale say, that would be a good ASMR sound for frying. Yep, that, that bread, woo, that bread was crunchy, y'all, but it tasted good. I overcooked it. Miss Gwen say bye everybody. Okay, y'all. I think I caught up. Let me see what y'all saying now. Uh, let me see. What's wrong with the at sign, uh, Liz Gill? What's wrong with the at sign? What rules, Liz Gill? Where is these rules coming from? Where are the rules coming from? Oh yeah, Miss Gwen, Miss Gloria, she deleted a lot of comments up above, way, way, way up above. What you talking about, Lisa Michelle? Stop the lying. Ooh, wow. What is you talking about? Stop the lying. What lying? Ooh, wee, Lisa, what you talking about? <laughs> what you talking about? I might have to delete that comment. Let me find out what you talking about, Lisa Michelle. You told us not to use the at sign. Oh, wait. If, yeah, if they come in here at, at this person, just at everybody. Just say hello to the whole chat and get it over with. Oh, okay. Well, Miss Gloria, on my end, yeah, on my end, I could see if the person 
deleted their own comment or if it, it showed me who deleted the comment. The one I looked at say Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Lisa, are you still there? I'm trying to figure out what Lisa was talking about. She said, stop lying. What was I lying about, Lisa? Uh-oh, Lisa, where you at? I am not in trouble, Miss Vanessa. No, you're not in trouble. Stop asking me that. Okay, is it still raining over there, Miss Gloria? Lisa, did it rain over there where you were today? Did it flood? I know it rained. I'm pretty sure it rained everywhere in Houston. But I don't know if it flooded everywhere. Did it flood over there? Oh, it didn't flood, Miss Gloria. That's good. But you did get some rain, right? You did get some rain, just no flood. I think my friend Lisa Michelle left us, y'all. Or is she typing? I don't know, Lisa Michelle, where you went? I got questions. Y'all, we got 12 people in the house. 33 thumbs up. Thirty-three thumbs up. My neighbor is fine. Just a lot of rain. Oh, your neighborhood? Yep, Miss Gloria. I thought that rain was gonna get in my car. It was like a couple of inches. It was like the rain was about two feet high. That's a lot. I'm trying to see where it, the I Love Lisa Michelle show went. Lisa, are you still? It feel like a Saturday, y'all. It felt like a Saturday. Lisa, what was you talking about? Talking about stop lying. What was I lying about? What 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 did you talking about? Stop lying. When I call Shanette. Y'all, it was raining so hard that phone service, when I went to go pick up my phone to call somebody, it said no phone service. I was like, what? How can you not have a phone? Because you said that I have never come to this channel. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Look, Lisa Michelle, it's been so long. I don't remember, girl. Have you ever come to this channel before? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Lisa. <laughs> I'm not lying. I just don't remember. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Y'all, 
Y'all, I got some more of that crunchy bread left. I might have to do a ASMR video on it. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not lying, Lisa. I just don't remember. Miss Gloria say Missouri City. Um, Lisa Michelle say she in spring. And I'm in the ghetto. <laughs> I'm in the ghetto. Y'all, I hope that's all the rain we're going to get, but 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 the forecast have rain to next Thursday, y'all. Next Thursday. Yeah, uh, Miss Kitty say croutons. Miss Kitty, you kind of quiet today. What you doing? You resting? You at work or what? What's going on? Oh, y'all, I'm so full. Oh, it was bad over here, Lisa. Did the water get in your car? Miss Kitty at work. Miss Kitty, where is Tina? Tell Tina. I said hi. Tell Miss Tina. Lisa Michelle say, oh, y'all. See, y'all on a delay. Y'all on a delay. Y'all on a delay. You on a delay. You and Miss Gloria be on a long delay. See so y'all, I could take these containers that the stuff came out of. And I could put my Y'all, if I don't wash these dishes with y'all when I get through, man, these dishes will be in the car. I mean, the sink to tomorrow. Oh, she will be there later. Tell her I said hi, Miss Kitty. I can see your comments, uh, Miss Lisa, but... Your comments weren't going through when I was talking because you are on a delay. 
y'all on a delay. You and Miss Gloria be on a long, long delay. Y'all don't be seeing me talking when I'm talking at that moment. Y'all will see me like five minutes later. Y'all on a delay. We got 13 people in the house. If y'all haven't thumbs up the video, please. So Lisa, what you doing today? What everybody doing today? We know the people that's, uh, that's in Houston was rained in. They was telling people, even though I didn't watch the news. Oh, that's too much rain. That's too much rain, Lisa. We don't need that much rain. Not that much. Oh, it got in his car. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this lady that was parked next to me, she got a little, little, little bitty small Ford Focus or something, baby. That let that water was almost over that lady hood. As soon as that water went down, she left. Cause I guess she say, I ain't gonna let my car get flooded up over here. She better go to higher ground. I started. I started. I'm, I'm thinking about going somewhere else too. Where I be going to my storage is higher over there. The water is the it 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 don't flood as quick over there. But I be without lights and gas though. So. Y'all already know I'm used to that.
So y'all already know what we eating later. We might eat a uh, salmon fish salad. I got a lot of salad yet left. Yeah. Y'all, the watch time report, I keep forgetting to tell y'all on the other channel, the watch time report is 2,800. So we are almost to 3,000 watch time hours on the other channel. Yeah, y'all are tired. Y'all know after I eat, I get, I get sleepy. And I could just be woke up. I'm about to go lay down in the bed and talk to y'all for a minute. I'm going to have to finish these, this kitchen later. I got the majority of everything out the way. I'm gonna have to finish the rest later, y'all. I'm tired. Hold on. Let's go to the bed, y'all. I got the, I got the, to lay down for a minute. <laughs> Whew. Y'all know after I eat. <sighs> after I eat, I get a little lazy. Lisa Michelle, did you tell me what you're doing today? See you on a delay, girl. I'm off from work tomorrow. Call is as well. And we're going to watch movies on Netflix. Oh, that's so sweet. I recorded some videos and gave you a... Couple of shout outs in there. What are you giving me shout outs for? I ain't did nothing. I ain't did nothing. Cool, Miss Lisa. I ain't did nothing. What you giving me? Let me go to the bathroom, yeah. <sighs> Y'all, we about to be talking in the dark because I'm about to turn this light off. Mm. I got some little cameras that I want to try on the computer to see if I get a better live stream 
So, Miss Kitty, how's the weather down there? Everybody else having good weather? Everybody else having good weather? What did I do with my phone, y'all? Let me see. I want to be in the dark so bad. So, y'all, that was my surfing turf. Hot 100. Oh, Miss Kitty, 105. Ooh, let's send some of that rain your way. You need the rain worse than we do, Miss Kitty. You need the rain, Miss Kitty. You need to cool off. You need a chill pill. Did y'all hear the watch time report? Don't be asking me later. Us two. Yes, 200 more to go. Yep, 200 more to go to 300. And then, well, we got 1,200 more to go because it's 3,000 or uh, 4,000 watch time hours. So we got like 1,200 more to go. Yes, thank you guys. And we're almost to a thousand subscribers on Vanessa, my life, my journey. We're like at nine. Let me see. I think we're at nine forty. Yeah, we're at nine forty on Vanessa, my life, my journey, and we're at nine twenty one on He Answers Prayers. So we're almost to a thousand, you guys. Once we get to a thousand on those two channels, we gonna be up for monetization because we already got our watch time over there. So I know y'all been asking me, what's the watch time? What's the watch time? And I haven't had a chance to tell y'all. So and it's a little bit more than that because. We got a couple of videos that haven't registered yet. Oh, Lord, Lisa. She's so hard headed. She don't listen to me, y'all. She don't listen to me. I don't know why people giving me shout outs. I ain't active. I ain't that active as much as I used to be on a channel. I'm not doing no challenges. I'm not doing no collabs. So. Oh, how you first saw me eating those colorful red peppers. Yeah, everybody eating them now, but ain't nobody saying where they got it from. That's okay. 
That's okay. Birds of a feather stick together. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. Yeah. So do you have to go to work tonight, Lisa? Or this morning? You got to go to work? Liz Gale say, Miss Vanessa, you are an inspiration to us all. Please have your moment. Shut up, Liz Gale. <laughs> Don't you chastise me. You the baby, remember? You're the baby. You can't chastise me. <laughs> Liz Gale, shut up and put one of them hard cute croutons in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Put a crouton in your mouth, Liz Gill. Miss Gloria. Miss Gloria. Y'all, I was supposed to be doing some work on the van. I couldn't even get to my car, y'all. I was like, I'm not going down there and open up that door and drive. Let us love you the way we want to. <laughs> I can't let y'all do what y'all want to do the way you want to do it. <laughs> Miss Kitty, y'all supposed to be on my side. Y'all giving me a hard time today. I'm just going to go to sleep. See, y'all don't appreciate when I be talking to y'all. I'm just going to go to sleep and let y'all. I'm going to put y'all in the bathroom. Miss Kitty say I'm a hard-headed. <laughs> I'm going to go put y'all in the bathroom. Let y'all listen to that fan. Uh, maybe y'all like that. Whatever, like Lisa Michelle say, whatever. Yep, I'm going to put y'all in the bathtub. The bathroom, uh, Kitty say, not the tub. <laughs> hey, Miss Miller. How you doing, Miss Miller? Yep, y'all going to the bathroom, Miss Kitty. Y'all obviously y'all like just hearing the bathroom fan, and that's it. Y'all don't want to hear me talk, so I'm just gonna let y'all go listen to some SMR, and I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep. Thank y'all for thirty-four thumbs up. Fourteen people in the house. Fourteen people in the house. Y'all, what are we going to talk about? Because I'm asleep. I'm about to let y'all hear some Z's, some snoring. Miss um, Kitty said, I can't be sleeping at work. <laughs> you don't take a nap at work, Miss Kitty? Everybody nods at work. Everybody nods at work. I'm so glad it stopped raining, y'all. I was... Elizabeth, thank you for praying earlier for the rain to stop. When you start praying, when you started to pray, the rain started to stop. I was like, wow, that girl is good. Y 
Miss Kitty say, I don't know where you get all your energy from, Miss Kitty, because you be up all times of the night till six in the morning. When do you sleep? When do you sleep, Miss Kitty? Miss Connie says she cooked some spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti. Who else? Did you eat your uh your crabs, Miss Kitty? Did you eat you some crabs yesterday? That is my normal schedule. Well, you still, I don't stay, I still don't know when you sleep. You stay up waiting on your husband all night long. Then you cook breakfast and you got to eat breakfast with him. And then I guess y'all go to bed together. Well, you know me, I'm a night owl too. Lisa say, Oh my gosh, child. Didn't I just tell you that I gave you credit? No, I'm off from work on Friday again. Sissy Poo. Okay, Lisa. <laughs> Ooh, so y'all going to watch movies all night? Y'all can't go nowhere because y'all might get stuck. It still might be flooding somewhere. Yes, I had crab a few days ago. You had the uh snow crab, right? Miss Kitty, you had snow crab? I'm going to have to do, I might do two crab legs, two snow crab legs, and one lobster tail. You sleep from six to two. Okie dokie. Yes, snow crab. What else did you fix with it? Lisa say, whatever. Don't be getting smart with me, young lady. <laughs> Don't be getting smart with me. <sighs> oh, yeah. Potatoes, corn, and eggs. Mm, did you make a sauce? Did you order uh, some of the B-Love sauce, Miss Kitty? Who ordered some of the sauce? I think Miss Gloria say she ordered her one. White shrimp. White shrimp? What's white shrimp? I thought all shrimp was white until you cook them, they turn pink. <laughs> uh... It died that got cold in here. I need to go turn this air down. I am restarting my ASMR live stream. It's tasty. Oh, okay. You gonna open up a separate channel? Yes, I made my sauce. Yes, I ordered the beloved sauce. Did you get it already, Miss Kitty? I wanted one, but I just didn't have an extra $24. Y'all know I'm trying to figure out how to do, put gas in the car and all that stuff over here. Many different kinds of shrimp. I love white shell. I never knew. 
Well, I don't know. I just. No, she go to bed at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Oh, you gonna try it? Let me know how it tastes, Miss Kitty. You like spice? You like spicy or mild? Y'all, the sauce is out right now. You can't order it now. It's sold out. Oh, you love spicy? Some people were saying it wasn't hot enough. I guess that's the people that like their mouth to burn like a volcano. <laughs> They like their mouth to burn like a volcano, like be love. Oh my goodness. I can't do it. You gonna send me a picture? Oh. Yeah, send me a picture on Instagram. Oh, you want your eyes watering and your nose running? Girl, you crazy. That's too hot. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all retarded. Y'all retarded. I'm going to turn this light off so y'all can fall asleep with me. That's too hot. Your nose watering. And yeah. Your nose running and your eyes watering. That's, you just said a mouthful. That's too much, Miss Kitty. Miss Lisa Michelle say you have good work hours. Miss Kitty. That's her sleep hours. 6 a.m. To 2 p.m. That's her sleep hours. Um, Lisa Michelle said, I'm excited for you. Hey there. Gym six. She said, when did you order yours, Miss Kitty? Yeah, uh, Elisa Michelle say, oh, you now I got it. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Nope, she is a the kitty. You want me to let you speak for yourself, or you want me to answer all the questions I know the answer to? She trying to see how how well I know, I remember stuff. She is a airport first responder. Oh, yeah, last Saturday. She ordered it last Saturday. Miss Kitty said, go ahead. She is a airport first responder. Now, I don't know all her business. <laughs> I don't know all your business, Miss Kitty. 
<laughs> Anything else you want to know, Lisa? Yep. She a hard-working woman and a good wife, too. That's why she don't go to bed till 6 a.m. because she be waiting on her husband to come home. A good, good, good wife. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, what? I don't know what you're talking about, Lisa. Uh, Lisa say, hey, now. Yep, she's a good wife. And a very good friend to Tasty Mukbang Eats. She got my back, y'all. Her and Liz Gill. They do overtime over here. Liz Gale say true that. No, you say if I had any more questions. <laughs> I might know the answer. I might. Maybe, maybe not. Kitty probably over there laughing her head off. <laughs> Tasty really know me. <laughs> Ooh. I pretty much, I, I know all of these people that be up in here all the time, all day and night. They be shocked when I repeat something months later and they be like, oh, you was really listening. And I was like, duh. What was I talking to you for if I wasn't going to listen? You think I'd just be letting y'all talk and don't? And then sometimes they don't even be thinking. They be having a conversation with each other. And they don't be thinking I'd be paying attention. Then when I mention something later, they be like, uh, I didn't know you knew that. It's like, yep. That's what I get paid to do. To be y'all personal psychiatrist. I'm going to send y'all a check in the mail. <laughs> a bill in the mail. Y'all, I needed to stop raining and be sunny so I could go sell some chairs. Because I need to try to get some money to pay my P.O. box. And other things, I'm supposed to be sitting out having a garage sale. I don't know. Y'all the only one ain't got a, a ranch. This rain is putting a monkey wrench in my plan. And then it's going to be raining for two weeks straight almost. Oh, my goodness. That's too much rain. Miss Kitty say had to get the phone. That's a lot of rain, y'all. Two weeks worth of rain. Oh, my goodness. And then we don't even know after two weeks if it's going to still be raining after that. Oh, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Let the sun come out. Can it rain in December? <laughs> Look, can it rain in December? Between now and December, please, no more rain. Rain, rain, go away. I don't want the rain another day. I like the sun, y'all. The heat wasn't bothering me. The heat was not bothering me. I was okay with me and the heat are friends.
I'd rather the heat any day than the cold and then the rain. See, I need to be putting my installation in the car. I watched I watched some more installation videos last night. And then Miss Kitty, since it's raining, I was like, well, since I can't do the roof, maybe I need to do the floor. I don't know. It's going to get cold after the rain. I don't want it to get cold. Yeah, me and Lisa Michelle, y'all, we like it hot. I think I like it hotter than her, though. She can handle the heat, too. But I think I like it hot. I, I think I can handle the heat, not the spice. Not the spice. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I think I can handle the heat, heat better than her. She say yes, I agree. Cause I like to sleep. I like to sweat when I'm sleeping. Yep, I like to sweat when I'm sleeping. You like to feel toasty. I like to sweat. They be laughing at me because when I get ready to go to bed, I turn that AC on 80. 80? 80 is cold to me. I be turning it on 83 and 85. I can't go to sleep with that air on less than 80, 83 or 85. If my feet are cold, oh no, I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> if my feet are cold. Y'all, I need to run my distiller. Hey, Bell, Bell, chocolate day, there go my Bell. Oh, Bill, don't be starving the baby. Bill, you better not be starving the baby. Nothing, we just got through eating. Now I'm full as a tick. I am full as a tick, Bell. I want the North Pole when I sleep. Oh, no, Kitty. Oof. See, you need to go stay with Shanette. Shanette and her husband be having it freezing cold over there in their house. They be having it on 60. I'm like, oh, no. I told her the next time I come to visit her, I am sleeping in my van. <laughs> She was like, no, you are not. I was like, yes, I am. But when I come to see you again, my van going to be, I'm going to have my installation in the inside and my floor done, and I'm staying in my van. I'm, I'm going to socialize with y'all during the day, but I'm sleeping in my van at night. When it's time to go to bed and I say night, night, I'm going in the van. Ain't nobody going to be freezing no 60 degrees. That's too cold. Don't be starving the baby. <laughs> uh, Lisa Michelle say no indeed.
Your cover be co- your husband be covered up from head to toe. Miss Kitty, I thought you loved the man. Now, see, I just said you was a good wife, Miss Kitty. You was a bad wife now. Miss Kitty, you a bad wife. You freezing the husband. <laughs> you freezing the husband, Belle. I mean, Miss Kitty. Belle, I said, let me tell you, y'all. All of y'all messed up. Belle starving the baby. Miss Kitty freezing the husband. <laughs> what you doing over there? Oh, uh, <laughs> Miss Lisa Michelle, what you doing? <laughs> Miss Gloria say, I do too, Kitty. Mine is on 72. That's, that's kind of normal, Miss Kitty, but Shanette, I think... uh. Miss Kitty is talking about colder than 72, Miss Miss Gloria. Miss Kitty say you should take a you should take a snowsuit. Nope, I'm just going to sleep in my car. I'm sleeping in my car. Yeah. Lisa say 72 is not hot for her. That's not hot. That's cold. 80 is cold for me. My feet be cold on 80. I be chilly. Sometimes I got to put it a little bit past 80. He shouldn't have to be sleeping under no covers, under a mountain of cover from head to toe, Miss Kitty. That's not right. That's not right, Miss Kitty. And when y'all, well, I was going to say when y'all get naked, (laughs) he got to be under the cover. Oh, my goodness. That's not. Yes, I can't. That's not good, Miss Kitty. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. (laughs) No, Kitty, that is cold. (laughs) See, even Miss Gloria said it's cold and she like it cold. Mm -hmm. See, Miss Kitty, she say that poor man be covered up from head to toe. And when they get naked, I know he freezing. <laughs> he probably don't get naked. <laughs> Miss Miss Gloria, he don't get naked. <laughs> Miss uh, Lisa Michelle say congratulations on 19 years, Ladybug Kitty. Just We just celebrated 12. Miss Glory over there laughing at me. That man probably don't get naked. And Miss Kitty be freezing him. Miss Kitty, why you ain't saying that? (laughs) 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 Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, that's funny. Miss Kitty freezing the poor man. Uh, he never complains because he, he can't talk because he frozen. <laughs> he, can't, he can't talk, Miss Kitty. He frozen. He like, <laughs> he can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> he froze up. My kids love it too. Oh, they just as crazy as you, Miss Kitty. Oh, 65. Oh, Lord. Do y'all even run the heater in the wintertime? Uh, Lisa say he had icicles hanging from his entire body. <laughs> 
Uh, Miss Kitty said we stay naked. <laughs> if y'all stay naked, Miss Kitty, he frozen. <laughs> Miss Kitty, the only time that man get to thaw off is when he go to work. <laughs> when he go to work, he thaw off. But when he come back home, he freezes. Ooh. She talking about we stay naked. Oh, Lord. Don't tell me it's so. <laughs> Don't tell me it's so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Ooh. And men, blood is usually thicker than ours, Miss Kitty. So if you got the man cold as ice, that tell you something right there. Because his blood, men blood is usually, we usually anemic. And men usually have thicker blood than us. And you got the man cold. Something wrong with you. Go to the doctor. <laughs> Go to the doctor, Miss Kitty. You need help. <laughs> Ooh, we. Oh, Miss Gloria, you ain't saying nothing. What's wrong? Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Y'all, we need to lift our sister Kitty up in prayer. <laughs> Elizabeth, what you doing? Miss Kathy, are you in the balcony? Are you in the balcony, Kathy? And we already know Terrence in the balcony. Terrence is in the balcony. I knew it. She say, yes, dozing. You ain't supposed to be dozing, Miss Kathy. You're supposed to be laughing. Very little heat in the winter. Oh, my goodness. The only time the man get heat in the wintertime is when he go to work. <laughs> Miss Kitty, do he be doing a lot of overtime? I, if I was that man, I'd be doing overtime. <laughs> I'd be doing overtime all year round. I'd be like, I'm not going home. I'm going to do some overtime. It's freezing over there. I'd be doing overtime. I'd give me a second job in the heat. <laughs> Uh, uh -oh. I ain't staying in no freezing cold house all year round. Nope. Lisa say, Miss Tasty and everyone, I got to go for now. I will sure to join y'all later. I love you, Sister Vanessa. Whatever. Whatever, Lisa. She talking about she going to join us later, y'all. That means six months later. <laughs> six months later. <laughs> she going to join us six months later, y'all. Oh, Lord. Y'all, we've been in this live for four hours. We need to be on the other channel. Don't be whatevering me, whatever. You be doing it to call, I can do it to you, whatever. Miss Glory, say bye, Lisa. Y'all, we've been over here four hours. We need to be on the other channel. We don't need no watch time over here. So... <sighs> Let's end this live, y'all, and go to the other channel. We got 13 people up in here, y'all, but only four or five people saying something. What's up with that? So if y'all are not subscribed to ASMR for Christians, please come over there. 
Oh, he work at the airport. Y'all both work at the same airport? Yeah, Miss Kitty, we about to go. We about to go on ASMR for Christians. And I'm going to see y'all over there. Some of y'all on a delay. So I got to wait to everybody say okay. Y'all, everybody say okay when y'all know that we're going over to ASMR for Christians. Because, Miss Kitty, some people on a, like, five-minute delay. They'll say, K. Watch, it's going to take Miss Gloria a long time to say, okay. <laughs> she on a delay, y'all. Miss Kathy? Miss Kathy say okay. Well, y'all, Miss Gloria still ain't said okay. See, Miss Gloria still be over here talking about where did everybody go? <laughs> Tasty, where did everybody go? We got to wait on Miss Gloria to say okay, y'all. She on a five minute delay, y'all. See, See, from when the first time, the first minute when y'all said, okay, then wait till Miss Gloria say, okay, it's going to be about five or ten minutes from now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Ooh, she be getting everything late, y'all. Oh, she be getting everything late. We waiting on Miss Gloria, y'all. If she don't say nothing in two more minutes, we just going to go. So by 4.15, four hours and 15 minutes, if she don't say nothing, Miss Gloria. We waiting on you. Can somebody type Miss Gloria? We waiting on you. <laughs> Miss Gloria. We are waiting on you. Miss Gloria. Miss Gloria, we got 10 people in the house. Two more extra people just came in. Thumbs up the video, y'all. We getting ready to go over to Vanessa. No, we're getting ready to go over to ASMR for Christians. We're working on the watch time over there. We're almost to 3,000 watch time hours. We have 12,000 more watch time hours to go. The more people that hang in over there, and even if you can't watch the video or the live or stay in there the whole time, go back and play that bad booger later. Later. Y'all, so Miss Gloria ain't saying nothing, so we about to go live over there, and hopefully she'll find us. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all in a few minutes. Bye. Bye.